Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Blender Game Engine Python scripting tutorial. This time I'm gonna learn you physically accurate movement. So let's get started. I'm gonna place this cube here and then plane as ground, scale tap, and make the subject use physics. Rigid body, collision bones, and mass, for example, 15 kilograms. Now I'm going to apply the tap, and when I press play, that cube falls. And yeah. So let's get in. What we can do with this cube is make it move more realistically. And I'm going to teach you two things today. First one is linear velocity. There are two ways that we can do linear velocity. First one is own dot set linear velocity and then you place in values for example 0 0.0 1.0 0, 0.0 0 .0, and then I'm gonna input false and again this is the local value which I've taught you in previous tutorials so you must know it or if I run now it doesn't fall because I always set the Z linear velocity to be zero. It falls a bit because gravitation force is applied after. So yeah, it moves slowly down. What is more if you said it is true? In this case one. If you rotate it then it will go like that. Next thing is that you can set local linear velocity or you can just leave it uh, linear velocity. Yeah. However, what is makes this good? Firstly, it's easier to manage. You can set it, or you can get it like this. So, yeah. But there's one more thing. You can do it. Set it to use only one axis. You can access its axis with it, its values x, y, and z by doing dot and uh, x is name and then you set it to 2.0 and now the gravitation works fine and it moves yeah this gives you more control also better performance as far as I know yeah however there's third the most physically accurate method which is very good thing and works well with physics because it uses the Newtonian law which is F equals mg no ma yeah uh, it extracted from this equation the part of you know the triangle it is F on top M and A on bottom no yeah yeah and it extracts from it that A equals F divided by M so it accelerates object by force dividend by mass and it's called apply force function you input force and then the physics compiler mul divides the force by this mass setting and accelerates object by the obtained value and the acceleration is actually adding value to the motion so I can do it 0 0.0, 0 60.0, 0 0.0, and true. And what is more, what, even though you set those values, if they are 0, they won't stop object moving from those axes. It will just not accelerate or deaccelerate object in those axes. That's the concern. As you can see, it moves like that. You can, for example, make this execute you know, only on a few power to make it better you can use this thing for all objects and say seen using loop to make wind and a lot of things yeah but there's one more thing it depends on mass so if you set mass to be 10 it will accelerate better but if you set it to 60 it will accelerate accelerate almost no acceleration if you set to 30 it also the 
friction beats the force so you can set to 20 in this case and it kinda moves a bit yeah this is how it works you can set to mass of 1 and now it can move very much for cars there's mass of 1050 so there are always a good huge force involved for cars the final outputs are like 18,000 and so on those are the forces yeah from several objects any of those values can differ so I think that this is it for this time thanks for watching I hope you found this useful don't forget to subscribe leave a like and Wait for the next tutorials. See you later around. Have a nice day. And keep being good game developer. I hope to see good games from you soon. Just do your work and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.